Six months ago, I moved from my house in the suburbs to this inner city apartment at Södermalm in Stockholm, Sweden. So far, I've kind of just been cleaning as I go. I've dusted and wiped surfaces as needed, cleaned the bathroom weekly, and swept the floors and vacuumed around the litter box daily, basically. I haven't really given the place a good scrubbing since I moved in, though. And now that it's finally spring in Sweden, the light we haven't seen all winter long suddenly shows all kinds of dirt I didn't know I had. It was time for a spring clean. I started off by taking down the last string light and also removed another lamp that I don't need in summer. Then I removed all the cushions, throws and blankets from the living room and took them outside on the patio. I got my Dyson vacuum cleaner out with a small upholstery head and went over all the soft furnishings. Outside I then continued to give everything a good shaking and airing out. By the way, stay tuned if you want to see the full patio slash catio tour which is coming up. I'll be sharing how I made it secure so my kitties are safe in the city. Once everything had gotten some fresh air, I put it back inside again. It's still cold here in Sweden, so the woolly blankets are staying a little bit longer. My plan is to switch them out to something lighter as it gets warmer. I also went over all surfaces with a damp microfabric cloth to remove any dust and stains, including on the tray that holds the remote, the candles and some greenery. I did the floors later in the day alongside the floors in the kitchen and the hallway since they're connected. I like to clean rooms from the top down, so the last thing that gets done are the floors. The kitchen really needed a good once over, and I started by removing everything from the countertops, filled the dishwasher with my breakfast dishes and gave things a good wipe. Again, I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth, so I'm not using any product if it's not needed. I have a dish drainer next to the sink and my coffee maker drains on it every day. To get the brown coffee stains out of the plastic, I use vinegar and just let it soak in there while I do other things. For the stove top, I use a commercial stove top cleaner. When I run out, I'll try a baking soda paste instead. I also have some commercial window cleaner, so I'm using it up here to clean the oven front. I chose marble kitchen counters and backsplash and I got a special cleaner from the company that installed them, so I'm using it according to the instructions. I have wiped around the handles in the kitchen weekly, but on this day I gave the whole cabinet doors a good wipe down from the top to bottom, and then I put things back again. This is where I corral the things I want to see daily, like my shopping list, my pens and other bits and bobs. I gave it a wipe too. And my paper roll holder needed wiping too, I noticed. After a good soak, the dish drainer tray came out spot free and I cleaned the actual drainer too before letting them both drain. <laughs> I love barkeeper's friends for cleaning the kitchen sink. I also use a scrubby product for areas with stubborn stains like the base of my IKEA table that always has scuff marks. They don't come out 100% but better than before at least. After that it was finally time for the floors and I got my Dyson out. After Sir Dyson had done his thing, I mopped the floors with a special oil cleaner that I got from the guy who refinished my floors. You dilute it with water and it cleans, oils and refreshes the floors. I keep a spray bottle with the stuff handy so I can spot treat if I need to. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for, take my hand, we'll make it somehow, we can't miss out. Hey!
Moving on to the hallway where I had the overhead light on to see what I was cleaning, hence the pink hue of these clips. The closet doors in here are mirrored and to clean them I just used two microfiber cloths. One damp to get the dust and fingerprints off and then a dry one to wipe off any water droplets so there are no streaks. It works wonders you guys, clean and streakless. The hallway is where I keep the litter box so that and the rest of the things went back into their spots. I am a bit of a neat freak and like to keep surfaces quite minimal, so a last bit of declutter before this area is done. Okay, moving on to the bedroom. I emptied the trash can into the recycling bin in the kitchen and decluttered the surfaces and wiped them down with one of my microfiber cloths. I also changed the bedding, which Minnie wasn't very happy about. Sorry to disturb your beauty sleep, Minnie, but I'm a woman on a mission. Again, I aired everything out outside for a while and then switched to clean bed linen. So Dyson got to do his thing again and after that I give the bedroom floor the same oil treatment as the other floors. to the bathroom. I decluttered, put things in their places, dirty laundry in the hampers and emptied the trash can. Then I clean the sink. The hand soap I'm using now contains some oil. To remove the residue, I use a creamy scrubbing product in the sink. For the tiled edge, I use a white vinegar and water solution that I spray on it and wipe off. After wiping off any excess product in the sink with a wet cloth, I proceed to dry it with a dry tear cloth. For the bathroom mirror, I again use two microfiber cloths, wet to clean, 
and dry to remove watermarks. Then all the little bits and pieces in the bathroom get a once over. The marble tray that corrals my everyday bathroom essentials and the container that keeps my cotton rounds and cotton buds too. I refill those while I'm at it. I don't wear a ton of makeup, but I do have some makeup brushes, so while I'm cleaning everything else, I might just give those a clean too. Toilet is next, and I actually start the bathroom cleaning by using a commercial toilet cleaner, scrub and leave it in there while I do other things. I use that white vinegar and water solution and wipe everything down. Over to the laundry side of things. Again, wiping everything down, mind you, with a different cloth from the one I used on the toilet. I also removed everything from above the wall cabinet and gave it a wipe down too before putting things back again. For the tub shower, I used the Muji cleaning system. I switched my mop head out for a scrubbing head. Spray the whole area with water and then use the scrubber with some cream scrubbing product and go to town with it. Then I hose that whole corner down and continue by wiping any metal hardware down with a terry cloth. I also wipe down all the bottles as they usually have some drips or at least some water stains on them. While I'm cleaning the apartment I also do laundry. The last bit of laundry are the bath mats, hand towels and the rags and cloths I've been using while cleaning. These go on hot to really get all the dirt out. After leaving the floors in the tub area to dry, I vacuum and then proceed to clean them. I use the white vinegar and water solution again and mop away. And there you have it, one clean apartment, check! Oh, I still need to do the windows, but on this day I just wiped the bottoms to get the little nose prints off, and I'm saving the whole windows outside, inside and between the panes for another day, because I was pooped. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel if you do. Also, please consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Let me know what you want to see more of. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.